Hey guys, I'm back. Um, and so what I want to do quickly, this is a D stash. It's just a lot of uh, vintage um, sewing patterns in this gorgeous box that I got at an estate sale like years ago. Okay, so I'm just going to go through. I'm going to start from front to back. I don't know how many they are. You guys can count. Um, but I'll just start from, yeah, from the front. Okay. And some of the patterns, they're, they're vintage, so they're old. Um, some of them are from my great Annie's estate. Um, I won't say which ones, but they are like these, the get down with the get down. <laughs> um, this is a simplicity. I'm not going to give years or anything like that. You, but it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Here's an old vintage one here. This is from Mr. McDaniel's estate, I believe. That's three. There's a contemporary one there with a barcode. And this one here. This is just a paper. There is no pattern in there. I probably used it or gifted it or something. I'm sorry about that, but <laughs> there you have it. Halloween costume, maybe. Get down with get down. Oh, this is definitely, I will tell you this, this is definitely from my great Amy's estate. There is a wedding one. Let me get a little picture of that thumbnail. There we go. And this one. And this one is really cool. It's got some threads hanging out. Um, the patterns are, most of these, the patterns are inside of them, but there are some that are just the cover, and I'll, I'll try and let you know which ones. I like this one a lot. That one is very cute. Very, very cute. And this one. Oh, I should show you guys the backs of them, because some of them have marks and handwriting. This is really old, super old and super fragile. Handwriting on that one, and that's just the paper. Okay. Can I show you the back of that one? I think I did. That these modern ones have a lot of um, pattern paper in there. All right, showed you that one. The wedding one. It's interesting. The seamstress says this top, so she just wants this part of it. This um, sleeve. She wants this top and this sleeve. <laughs> I love this dress right here. Isn't that cool? Look at her hair. The curls. Really cool. And then the back of... Yeah. That has a lot of paper in it. Okay. Let's move on. Well, let me gather these up. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. get down with the get down <laughs> that's from my Tia's estate my aunt's the auntie's estate and these are from estate sales or somewhere I found a lot of these um, years ago this is from it's dated here 78 and she's got the names and everything. Becky, Maid of Honor. 
and some of the other girls who will participate in the the wedding so that's really cool um i cannot guarantee that all the pieces are here to make any of this stuff i was going to say something else and i forgot and that's just a random butterick pattern pieces in there sorry about that they're in there they're staying in there This is super cute. Oh my god, that's so cute. Isn't that adorable? That's old. Um, while I'm showing these, I hope you guys in the um, north uh, west and uh, on the west coast, north and south. <laughs> oh my god, from Baja, California, all the way up to close to Canada and wash in Spokane. Well, not Spokane. Washington. I hope you guys are all staying like cool and stuff, man. That's so unusual for you guys. A lot of you guys up north. It's really unusual for you guys. So, welcome to my party. Just ask any of us in Texas. Us Texas natives. <laughs> Just ask us about the heat. This has a lot of pattern paper in there. Just ask us, man. Just ask. We'll tell you all about it. The only difference is, is the heat that you guys have is not good for your skin because it's dry heat. Oh, my God. But sometimes here we have dry heat, too. I love this one. This one's really nice. Our heat is, it's not always dry. It kind of goes back and it fluctuates, but it's mostly like a moist, moisty kind of heat. But yeah, that dry heat in California, I remember because I lived in California, guys, for like 15, 16 years, half of my life, more than half of my life now. Um, that's where my daughter is, is uh, lies in rest there, and so does my biological dad. Um, it's California heat, when it's dry like that, whoo, man, you need to drink a lot of water for your skin and body. But it, here, too, I love this one. Look at that one. This one is a red book magazine. This probably came out of my aunt's. My aunt, uh, my auntie did a lot of long maxi stuff. Um, but she did everything. She sewed everything. Like, everything she, she sewed in the 70s. And then she just, you know, abandoned that and started shopping at malls. <laughs> I don't know why, but oh, my God mall clothes so overrated so not worth the penny i love that young people um and yes i'm changing subjects and i'm aware of it um i love that young people this one says jocelyn and something else right there look at the little cuties sunday clothes easter mm -hmm. so cute um i love that young people um are dressing wearing old clothes i think it's so cute and so here are just paper um, sleeves. That one has some spills on it, but the front is still really nice. There's that one. These don't have patterns in them. Barcode. I had a lot of duplicates at one point of some of this stuff. Um, that's very 80s to me, it looks like. And then this is the last one. Look at her. <laughs> you know who brought this kind of big, rompy, rompy clothes style back? Um, Billy, uh, Billie Eilish. I just think it's so cool. But, of course, she's now she's she's snugged things up. Love her. Whatever she does, it's, it's all good. Love young people doing their thing. So, there's 13 here. So, 14... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. I don't know if I showed you the backs of those. I hope I did. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. That's a fragile one. 30, love that one, that's probably my favorite, 30, 31, 32, 
some extras. 33, 34. Love this one. 34. Isn't that cool? That would have been cool to put in a um in my little packs of um red, white, and blue. Uh, little tiny fabric packs. They're just small packs. Um, but this would have been cool, but I only have one, so 34. 35, that's for my great Amy's estate for sure. 36. Okay, so did I say that right? 13. 17, 18, 19, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4. Yes, 36. So there's 36 patterns, guys, and they're going to come with this box. I'm going to break it down. I got this box at, you guys were with me. If you've been with me for a long time, it was where that lady was bothering me. Remember her? And she was talking all loud and stuff and asking me about retro and what's retro and <laughs> and that's retro and every time period beyond whatever year is retro and I'm like oh my god some people just want to know everything they just believe they know everything and they don't they do not <laughs> anyway it's all good though at least we try we try so patterns and I'm gonna break this box down and send this box with you um, but this will all come in um, yeah in a in a, a priority box okay so there's that that's D stash if you're interested um, just holler at me this is gonna be a PayPal sale not via Etsy Still not happy with Etsy these days. I'm just kind of ignoring them and pretending like they're not there. <laughs> but they are, but I'm pretending like they're not. <laughs> so, yeah, 36 patterns, guys. Used, love, previous love. Some with most with um, pattern papers. Um, some of these may have complete patterns in there. I'm not sure, but, yeah, it is what it is. Okay. Oh, wait, there's one more little tiny thing. So that's that, 36 patterns, and just ignore all the little pattern pieces and box fuzzes and blah, 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 blah. I do have a little tiny bunny pack. I'll show you this really quick. This is a D-stash. This is like just bunny books, books about bunnies and bunnies. Um, so here's this one, the Velveteen Rabbit. I'm not going to measure these. Um, they're all in really good condition for the most part. I think there's, yeah, they all are in good condition. Um, and lots of pictures, lots of images, clean pages. Um, this one is dated Illustrator Jean Chandler, 1986. This one is my favorite. This is Peter Cottontail's Surprise. Illustrated by Greg Hilden, Greg Hildebrandt, and the story is by Bonnie Worth. Okay, because she's you know, these pictures in here are, are, I just love them. I love these images. The pages do have some scuffing and little soilings from you know kids. There's a tape <laughs> across there. I love that. <laughs> I really do love that. There's Peter. There's a rip right there. <laughs> Look at this one. These are really cute. So I thought that you guys could tear these apart. These are craft condition um, pieces. Love this image here. And, oh, I really love this one. I love that one too. That would be my great grandmother and me when I was little, of course. And then that was her and my daughter. <laughs> love this image here. Um, just so cute. Really, really, really cute. Um, dated. There is no date. Where's the date? There is none. There's no date, people. Is there a date? Date in the back. 1985. Then this one is The Tale of Benjamin Bunny. And it's a Beatrix Potter coloring book. I didn't, I've never torn out any pages. So if there's any torn out, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. But this would be so cute. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Right? So cute. So, yeah, and it looks like a child did not get their hands on this one because there's no scribbly scribblies. Although I love that. I have a Jessica Rap book I showed you guys. Uh, where is that book? Hold on. Hold on, people. When I when I showed you guys this book before, 
I forgot to show you this. And I was talking about this. I love that in this book, look, Jessica put that in there. <laughs> I love that so much. I don't know why. Because that means that some child has gotten a hold to the page. <laughs> this is my book. Yeah, I've shown you guys that before, but I can't, I, for, for some reason when I was showing it like, I don't know, a month, two, oh my gosh, maybe three months ago, um, I forgot to show you that. So I love that. It was because I was showing you guys some children something. I don't remember. It's on a video somewhere. But anyway, no child has gotten <laughs> his or her hands on this coloring book. I'm so surprised. Um, and then this one is Waiting for Christmas Stories, and these are just bunnies illustrated by Sarah Stapler, and it's just bunnies, and they're just, you know, there's bunnies, bunnies, and bunnies everywhere, because that's what, that's, you know, that's what bunnies do. All of that, look at that, for Christmas, so cute. And this one is dated 1994, um, and this one I really like. This is my favorite, and this one. The only problem with this cover here, guys, is this part right here. Right? There's some paper peel off of it. Um, but I think the images, that's why I said it's craft condition, but I think the image of it you can use in your um, in your projects and things like that. Love this one. And this is the actual story, The Adventures of Peter Cottontail. And it's got some illustrations in there. This one is dated... 1991 and then I put in some little panels of bunnies that are really cute love the sunflowers of course around them love this one <laughs> so cute oh my gosh and it's just one panel with six little panels of bunnies and I've had this in kits before a long time ago love his pants his little jumper there Okay, and then the final part is, oh, there's a bunny stamp. Um, should we stamp it? I think we should. Let's stamp it. Um, do I have a piece of paper? It's amazing how, it's just so amazing we do paper, and then there's, when you're looking for a piece of paper, there's no piece of paper. It's like, how does that happen? Like, how and when does it happen? Here's a piece of paper. Oh, my God. And then I'll show you these cards here. So let's see if this bunny will stamp. I'm pretty sure it'll stamp nice. I'm just inking it up here. Whoops, I'm going to... Oh, well, that stamped out kind of cute. Can you guys see that? Boop. There's the bunny. I'm going to put that in there. And there's that. Okay, and then... Entonces. <laughs> entonces. But Don Cheto says, Entonces. Well, he doesn't sing it. <laughs> he doesn't sing it. Um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six Beatrix Potter, Peter, Cottontail, this guy's, where is he? Is that big? Is that Beatrix Potter? It's this, this guy. Peter Cottontail, I said it right. Okay. I get them confused because there's a lot of rabbits. They all start to look alike at some point to me. Okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of these, um, Peter Cottontail cards and one two three four five six seven of these um whatever this cute little animal pet looking cutie is i don't know is it a mouse is it what kind of rodent is it i don't know i have no idea but it's really cute and there's you know the strawberry that's the catcher Okay, so that's a little pack, um, and that will go um, as a de-stash lot because I don't need these books. I'm not going to put them in kits. I'm not going to use them for anything, so you can have them. <laughs> Small PayPal purchase, so they're all yours, all right? 
um, gift them, craft with them, whatever you want to do with them. There's lots of people that love bunnies. Kids love bunnies. Um, so bunny it up with this one. All right. Um, I will be back. I do have some more really serious destructions, but I'm kind of prepping them. And the beautiful thing is, is I mailed out some of my thank you packs today. Woohoo! Some of them, guys. <laughs> yes, some of them. All right, guys. So two D stashes. You've got a lot of 36 sewing pattern envelopes, sleeves, and patterns inside of some of them. And then a lot of bunny stuff. Okay, and I'll be back again. I'll talk to you guys later. Adios. Sale pues. Orale pues. Mwah.